Hello and welcome to this demo of the Hedvig Flocker integration, a collaboration between Hedvig and Cluster HQ. Today we'll talk about our solution for delivering persistent storage for Docker containers. Let's start with a quick description of the Hedvig distributed storage platform. Hedvig is a software-defined storage solution designed to deliver highly efficient storage for modern applications, including container environments. The software is designed to scale with commodity server hardware, including x86 or ARM-based processors, and provides access to storage via block, file, and object protocols all in one platform. Hedvig also supports the ability to run as a hyperconverged system with storage and compute scaled in lockstep, or as hyperscale, where compute and storage are scaled independently. The Hedvig solution provides storage services to any hypervisor or container from VMware and Hyper-V to Docker. All of these are supported. And the solution is also implicitly hybrid. So with it, you have a single storage system that spans primary and secondary data center environments, as well as public clouds, providing an inherent DR capability across racks, across data center, and of course, across a cloud environment as well. Hedvig makes it easy to provision storage with an easy to use interface or via a rich set of APIs. And finally, the platform delivers enterprise-grade storage features like inline deduplication, compression, replication, client-side caching, and snaps and clones. All of this and all of these capabilities that you've come to know in enterprise-grade storage solutions all delivered in software. The following demo illustrates persistence of state for Docker containers using Hedwig storage for persistence and portability of state for Docker containers using Flocker for container data mobility. We have a two node Ubuntu cluster running Ubuntu 14.04 and we have a two tier app with a web tier and a database tier. The database here points to Flocker as the volume driver and it has one data volume named Hedwig Demo and we are requesting the data volume to manifest at slash data inside the container. If we docker compose up and go check out the Hedwig UI, there is a VDisk corresponding to the database tier, and the VDisk has been created by Hedwig Flocker driver. It is of size 100 gig of block device type with a replication factor set to 3 and replication policy set to agnostic. Okay, so our two tier app is up. Let's create state for the app. If we reload the app, we see that the state is persisted on Hedwig storage via the database. If we check out the virtual disk stats, we can see that we achieved 97% savings from deduplication. And if we look at the metrics on the VDisk, we see the writes happening. Let's stop the app on node one. Exit from node one and log into node two. If we go back and access the app site, we can see that it's unavailable from node one. Let's bring up the app on node two. Now, if we access the app at 172, 16, 78, 251, we see that the state that was written to the app from node 1 is available from node 2. Since we just did a read, let's go and see the read metrics on the VDisk. So we can see the read IOPS manifest. The pause in the read IOPS is the pause during the migration time. 
We can also go and make a snapshot of the VDisk. And we can uh, clone it. Let's check out the details of the clone. So we do see the source disk that the clone is based off of, source snapshot, and the type of the clone. Thanks for watching the demo. Here we have some links where you can download the Hedvig Flocker driver. You can also access and replay this demo, and you can get access directly to the Flocker solution, all on GitHub.